In this video, we'll try to understand how to find out the beam reactions for the arrangement as shown over here. So first we'll try to resolve certain components over here. So as you can see in the right angle triangle that we have considered that is D F E, which is over here. So it is D F and E the angle theta. So cos the angle theta is as shown over here. So cos theta will be equal to adjacent side that is four divided by hypotenuse that is five, whereas sine theta is equal to opposite side that is three divided by five. Now we can find out the resolved component of the forces in this link DE. So the force across this particular link DE is suppose say FDE. So horizontal component is cos component. So it is FDE cos theta, whereas opposite component is the sine component. So it is FDE sine theta. Now using these values, we can easily find out the reactions at the supports. So the reactions which are developed at this particular end is there is a reaction in X direction. So it is RCX and the reaction in y direction that is RCY. Now this resolved component of this FDE they are shown over here. So this horizontal component is FDE cos theta. So that is mentioned over here. Similarly, this FDE sin theta that is also shown over here. So we can say that this horizontal component and this vertical components of FDE they will produce the same effect as it is produced by this FDE. Now the effect of this horizontal component is to produce moment at this point B. So FDE cos theta multiplied by this perpendicular distance that is this vertical distance 2 is nothing but the moment clockwise moment that will be created. So that is also mentioned over here. So the arrow of this will go in the clockwise direction towards P. So that is shown over here and the perpendicular distance is 2. So it is a clockwise moment that will be produced by this horizontal force. So for the calculation of the vertical reaction, we'll consider this moment directly acting at this point B. And then for horizontal reaction, we'll consider this horizontal force FDE cos theta along with this reaction at C that is RCX. So let us see how to find out these reactions. So the vertical reaction. So first we'll try with First, we'll start with this RCY. So summation of forces in Y direction is equal to zero. Upward forces, they are considered as positive, whereas downward forces, they are considered as negative. So RCY, it is acting in the upward direction. This FDE sin theta, it is also acting in the upward direction, whereas this 800, it is acting in the downward direction. So it is negative and that is equal to zero. So we can say that RCY that is the reaction at C in vertical direction or Y direction is equal to transfer this positive term on the other side it will become negative and transfer this negative term on the other side it will become positive and call this as equation 1. Now we'll take moment about C and the conventions that we have used are clockwise moments that are considered as positive whereas anti-clockwise moments that are considered as negative. So we'll take moment about point C. So consider all the forces which are there on the left hand side of this particular C. So you can see over here this 800, the arrow of this 800 Newton point load will go in the anti-clockwise direction about C. And the perpendicular distance between A and C is 6 plus 4 that is 10. Similarly, this FDE cos theta into 2 that is a clockwise moment so that is also mentioned over here and this FD is sine theta it will produce the clockwise moment about point C and the perpendicular distance between B and C is 4 meter so this point load of 800 Newton will produce anti-clockwise moment this already clockwise moment is there because of FD cos theta and FD sine theta will produce the clockwise moment about point C so just rearrange the term so transfer this minus 800 into 10 that is 8000 minus 8000 will go on this side it will become positive now substitute the values of cos theta and sin theta which we have already calculated so cos theta is 4 upon 5 sin theta is 3 upon 5 now take fd common so it is 4 into 2 that is 8 upon 5 plus 
3 into 4 that is 12 upon 5 is equal to 8000 so we can say that this is nothing but 8 plus 12 that is 20 upon 5 is equal to 8000 so transfer this 20 upon 5 on the other side it will be 5 upon 20 and if we solve that particular value on calculator we will get FDE that is force along link DE is equal to 2000 Newton. Now from equation 1 we know that the reaction in y direction at point C that is RCY is equal to minus FDE sin theta plus 800. Now we know the value of force in link DE or force acting along link DE so it is 2000 sin theta is 3 upon 5 plus 8000 so if we solve we will get this value as minus 400 Newton. Now we will find out the reaction in horizontal direction so summation of fx is equal to 0 forces towards right they are considered as positive whereas forces towards left they are considered as negative. So in the previous slide we have seen that FDE cos theta which has produced this moment it is acting in the towards right or towards positive x direction so it is positive so that is present this particular term is present in the previous figure and rcx it is acting in the negative x direction so it is negative so transfer this negative term on the other side it will become positive so we can say that rcx is nothing but fde cos theta so substitute the value of fde that is 2000 and cos theta is 4 upon 5 so if we solve we'll get the reaction in x direction at point c that is rcx as 1600 newton so in this way we can find out the reaction at point c thank you very much for watching